Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Throwback Thursday. Um, I'm filming a couple of videos while I can with some sunlight because of course I'm there goes Willow being the gymnast that she is. Um, because obviously uh, I'm, you know, I never know when I'm gonna get called out and so I'm just filming while I can and while I have a few minutes. So I am filming for you Throwback Thursday for this week, which was picked by Stacy W. And this week's Throwback Thursday choice was Tequila Lime Cupcake. Now, it doesn't, I don't have the proper lid to this. This survived my candle disaster. Um, there's actually some wax blood, if you will, on there uh, from, may, may they rest in peace candles that have, <laughs> that are not gonna come back. Um, so I picked this one up. I think this is a White Barn ex exclusive one. If I, if I remember correctly, it was a White Barn exclusive, but in Canada, at least when this was out, my local Bath & Body Works store um, was like a, um, a, a hybrid. They were doing White Barn and um, Bath & Body Works regular line. Uh, I guess they were testing it out or whatever, because in Canada, I think there might be one White Barn in Toronto, and other than that, we don't have White Barns up here. So they were trying to bring in something. So there were some candles that I was able to get. And this being one of them, I only picked up one. I remember like people like Bren and Sean, they, they all like um, reviewed it and things like that. And I haven't watched the reviews in like, I guess it'd be almost a year ago. I don't remember what, I don't remember what season this was. Might have been fall of 2014. But anyway, um, before we get too far, I will tell you what I found for the scent description on this. It's a little bit longer because I think, I don't know, I just found something. Uh, treat yourself to a fragrance that combines two of the best treats, a margarita and a cupcake. Freshly squeezed lime, tequila, a delicious cake topped with buttercream. You guys, now I'm wishing I had bought more. Don't you hate it when that happens? You're like, please come back for, with more. I love you so much. Come on, Bath & Body Works. Okay, so clearly I love this candle. Let's go back into the packaging itself packaging um it had like a i think it was like a ribbed kind of lid like crinkle lid um had white burn on the top and things like that no big deal but um it, there is a picture here there are limes there is a cupcake with some icing on it don't know if you guys can see that Let's see here um i'm not too finicky on this the color of the wax is all right i would have if it was going to go green i would have wanted it to be vibrant green that would have been really cool because i like the bright bold colors that kind of thing but whatever again i'm not really that big into packaging but that being said so it's been a while since i purchased this so i'm going to say that i liked it in the store but obviously i wasn't sure about it no i wasn't sure if i should get more than one now i wish i had okay this is the perfect blend of citrus cupcake like the cake and the icing everything that that description i told you said this is oh, man i wish i bought more of you i really do oh. so stacy thank you so much for selecting this because oh. Oh. i want more but it's been great it's been a great burn uh no sitting the will is all crazy again uh, no sooting or anything of the like. It's been burning great. Uh, wicks are slightly uh, skewed, but they haven't moved. That's just how they've been since the beginning. Um, the smell has been wonderful. Um, wow. Uh, it's just, it's a gorgeous candle. I absolutely love this. I'd say the top note. I'd say, yep, top note would be the cake, then the lime than the buttercream, which is perfect. It is the most beautiful blend. I love this, it is gorgeous. I would repurchase this. I would buy probably four or five of these if I could get my hands on it, not on eBay, because I'm not about to pay crazy prices, duty, shipping. I'm not that kind of person. But uh, doubtful that this will come out to the SAS in the summer because this, is, this candle's been around for a long time. Uh, but if it does, I'm gonna stock up Bath & Body Works. Not that you ever watch my videos or anything like that, but. A line like this would be amazing. Like again, bring it out again. Oh, so good. I believe that there is a few other ones that I have in this collection, like the Water Level Lemonade, the, there's a few different ones. A Sparkling Limeade is part of actually what you'll see coming up um, when I show you, but I, I'm really in love with this. I cannot stress enough. I would give it like a 10 out of 10. It had the perfect balance of all the scents that it said that it had in the description, which is rare. 
that it actually does smell like that. The throw was fantastic. The burn has been wonderful. No puny wicks. It's 2014, I believe. So maybe that's something to do with it. I really wish I picked up more. St so Stacy, thank you so very much for selecting this candle for Throwback Thursday. I am going to continue to enjoy it and um, oh, love it. I oh, can't get enough. It is so good. Um, not Mine was not mild at all. Uh, again, mine was an A1. I don't know why. Most of my candles seem to be an A1, A2. I don't know why that is, but that's cool. I'm gonna, as long as it smells good, I'm totally cool with that. All right, so as per usual, throwback Thursday. Hey, and by the way, people, just, just, I'm watching you. When my video is 10 minutes long and people are already asking me to select a candle or which candle to select, and it's only been up for six minutes, I know you're not watching the whole thing, come on. Anyway, it's still fun and I love it and I, I think it's great. Um, I am so happy that you guys will um, be, are part of this decision. Um, but okay, let's just go into the rules. These are the rules, These I'm not changing them. So in the comment section down below, the first person who does um, state which one of these candles I'm about to show you that they would like me to burn for th uh, Throwback Thursday and review for the following week that will be the candle that we burn and review for the following week. I always go back on and I um, let you know that I've seen it and yeah, I'll let you know that, yep, that's the candle we're burning. So with that said, and last week, if you didn't realize, I actually changed up, changed up my upload time normally in the morning. I was like, oh, I didn't want it. I want to give it some other people a chance as well. So that's why I uploaded it in the evening. So anyway, so that's, you know, I'm kind of toying with that, kind of playing with it. So, um, not that I'm trying to tease you guys, but at the same time, I want to make sure that everyone has a fair shake at it. So anyway, with that said, I have quite a few candles here. Um, let's see. These are the ones that you guys can choose. One person again. So the Celery by Celery Ke Kemble Napa Grape. Oh my God, you guys, I'm burning the vanilla bean marshmallow candle. So good. Yum. I love vanilla. Um, Portfolio Collection at Aquis, number 12 in Pink Peony, or Peony, that one. Um, we have DW Home Three Wick Candle in Peony Petals, or Peony, or Peony Petals. And another DW Home Three Wick Candle, and this one is a Lilac Blossom. I have a couple medium-sized jars from Bath & Body Works. I have Honeysuckle. Sundress, love these jars, gorgeous. Now one that's kind of broken that if, I, if it does get selected, I will probably just end up melting it, but a Lilac Blossoms, oh, it does smell beautiful. Uh, let's see, we have DW Home Two Wick Candle in Cherry Blossom Peony. And there's the sparkling limeade I mentioned earlier from the same line as the one that we just did today, the spark, uh, the tequila lime cupcake. So that's that. Two more left. We have cherry blossom sangria also from that line as well. Clearly I just bought some and just never heard them. And home, which is, um, I had the home, the smile, the love, all that stuff from sp early spring of 2015. So that's what I have left for you guys to pick from. So again, the first person who makes a comment down below asks me to pick one of these candles. You're it. And we will do the review for the following week. So you guys, thanks again very much for joining me. You guys are awesome. And I hope that daylight savings didn't kill you as much as it seems to have done to me because that one less hour of sleep, I don't get a lot of sleep on a good day or a good night. That one less just like, oh, that's brutal. Anyway, you guys, take care and um, yeah, be safe as always.